Welcome to another edition of Talking Germany, the show where we do just that. And our guest on the show today is a thoroughly modern mixture of many different thoroughly modern things. An actress, a beauty queen, a writer, a multilinguist. I think we should also call her a genuine social commentator and a bit of a figurehead for a whole new emerging generation here in Germany. So here she is, Asla Bayram. Hello. <laughs> Asla, thank you very much for joining us on Talking Germany today. The most remarkable thing I think about you when I was reading about you before the show, preparing the show, is at the young old age of 28, you have already written an autobiography. Is, is that what it is? Is it an autobiography or is it more than that? For me, it's more than that. I didn't want to write a typical autobiography. I combine it with uh, my uh, thinking today, my um, ideals uh, to be tolerant about humanity and the world, my uh, thoughts. Who's, who's, who are your readers? Who's been reading it and what kind of feedback have you been getting? Actually, I wrote it for everybody. I didn't thought of just one uh, uh, age. But uh, I get a feedback from every kind of age, like older than 60, mm. um, young people. Also, uh, when I had readings, I saw a mixed, uh, mixed age group. Mm. And what, what have people of your age been saying? That would interest me a lot. Uh, what touched me very lot, a lot, uh, I was uh, reading in Wells, mm -hmm. uh, and then there came a Turkish man mm -hmm. in the age of 60, oh, yeah. and he said uh, he's very proud of me, and um, he almost cried and mm -hmm. uh, thanked me. And it made me also very happy and uh, touched me. I, it's very nice when people come and say thank you and uh, you feel that you gave them something. As though we heard it there, your, your autobiography, this word, this German word, the wonderful German word, Grenzgänger in it, somebody who crosses back and forth yes. acro across borders. Just tell me what that means to you. What, what, what are you saying with that there? For me, it means that uh, I don't um, make myself borders uh, in everything which is peaceful and I don't stand on my own feet, that I believe in my goals and believe in uh, good things. Mm. But, but uh, not just in this living between worlds, I mean, not just this Turkish or German world. In this world, I'm uh, traveling uh, I'm, uh, with my work also. That, that is what I mean with this. Okay, let's be very concrete. I, I think one of the most interesting things you've done was this, uh, this stage performance of, uh, of the diary of Anne Frank. Um, that's, a, that's a very difficult identity to play, perhaps. Mm -hmm. how, how difficult or easy was it for you to get into that? It was definitely a challenge for me because it was the original text of Anne Frank and uh, not a fiction. And uh, it's a, a real person and it's a very interesting, uh, important uh, theme. Uh, so that was the challenge for me to uh, really uh, understand the, her and um, make it as authentic as possible. Mm. Uh, the, the actual diary itself, how old were you when you first read that? Did, had you read that before getting involved in the production? I read it when I was 11, 12 and oh. I was already impressed of her and when I uh, heard about the offer going to the casting I was really happy. And Could Can I ask you to go back? Uh, when you were 11 years old, you're growing up in Germany, yes. and you read this diary about the persecution, the murderous persecution mm -hmm. conducted by the Germans. These are the people around you. Yeah. You yourself are living and growing up in Germany. What did you think about that? Um, it was for me very interesting to read this book, to find so many things I could have understand what she wrote, and I was very impressed of her, about her strength, about her thoughts in this young age. Mm. You grew up in Germany, but yes. you don't live in Germany anymore. Is that, uh, you know, in a professional sense, is that because uh, you're not getting the roles you want in Germany? Is that perhaps a reason? Um, I'm there where uh, the most interesting work for me. Mm. And uh, I realized uh, in outside it's more interesting for me, more interesting roles and projects. Does that mean that a young Turkish, somebody of your background mm. is, is not being offered roles in Germany? Is, there, is, there, is that not Mostly happening? this uh, really, uh, what you say, hmm. uninteresting roles for me. 
as a mm -hmm. person. I like projects where I have a message behind it, where I can say something as an actress, do my part of it, uh, projects who, who make sense for me and roles mm -hmm. like Anne Frank uh, or um, uh, things I will do in Bosnia uh, about uh, what happened after the war. I like these things. Uh, do you see yourself, I mean, we, we, we heard the word in the report earlier, when you, when you, in 2005, when you suddenly, you know, you were completely, your life was changed, you became a beauty queen, and you said, I'm, I'm happy that this happened in Germany, or happier than if it had happened in Turkey. Yes, of course. Are you a role model, and are you somebody who is potentially a, a, a leader in Germany? Uh, you know, I... I always make questions for myself, uh -huh. as I always did, and also did why never a Turkish origin girl is competing this uh, beauty pageant. I was so curious and uh, I took part and I won and that was very important for me, that uh, little change happening and um, I like these things uh, to break this... Uh, things, uh, you know what I mean. I know, to break <laughs> you know? the mold, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. to, to break this, all this... Uh, uh, the patterns and the prejudices. Yeah, to have mm -hmm. a wilder, uh, to be human, you know, that it's not important where we're from. We live in Germany and uh, uh, we should live together, you know. I've got the message. <laughs> 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 what we're talking about is the issue of integration, how well integrated Muslims are or are not here in Germany. It's a hot topic. Uh, the consensus seems to be that it took too long for the process of immigration to really get going and that there's plenty of catching up to do. And it's not just up to the state to bring people together. We have an example now of an encouraging and rather unusual partnership at the very local level. Turkish people in Germany, how integrated are they? What are we getting right and what are we getting wrong? Um, I think we see mostly the bad uh, examples. Uh, the, in the media? In the media, yes, but there are so many, like me, I mean, I don't know, I'm perfectly integrated when you say yeah. this word, which mm -hmm. I can't hear anymore, but um, since even then I have these problems. Even, but we are not seen, uh, mm. so many friends of mine. Mm. We see just uh, these areas and then we see the problems. So I think we should w wake up and do more, everybody, and be interested and engaged. I've got a quote. I'd like to quote you something uh, that you wrote. Yeah. Germany is the country where I was born and grew up. Germany is the country where I spent my happiest times with the people I love with my family. Yeah. The next sentence starts with a but. Yes, but it's also... What's, what's the but? But is also the uh, things where I live the most horrible things in my life. Can you talk in about Germany. it? In Germany. Not really. I know you, uh, we want... Uh, my father was murdered in mm. Germany. I mean, we don't have and, to talk uh, about it. No, so, yeah. I just can say yeah. that, uh, that he was uh, without any guilt, but the murder came out free uh, very early. Mm. And this is uh, human rights. Um, uh, it's really wrong uh, from the system also. It's, uh, I appreciate all that. And I'm, you know, it, it's, it's incredibly moving to listen to you talking about it. What I would like to ask you is, in, in the time after your father was killed, your family made the decision to stay in Germany. Of course. Yeah, mm. of course. Was it an of course or yes, did it? Yes, we was lived it? here. We yeah. grew up here. Yeah. Yes, but it's a thing I can't talk like a little bit about it, like a telegraphic message. Mm -hmm. It's uh, too complex to talk about it. It's. Uh, I wish more that more. I'm really for gleichberechtigung. Uh, mm -hmm. Equality. It? Equality. Yeah. And uh, uh, also in the system, in the law, that people uh, wherever they come from get the same. Uh, um, uh, judgment, yeah, like okay. everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, this was this was quite a long time ago. Do you think Germany has changed in the last fifteen years? No, mm, it's I'm positive, looking forward, and uh, it changes, but still things happening, like in Dresden, where this Marwa was killed in the court, and yeah. uh, so many racist uh, mm -hmm. uh, things happen still. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have to work all together against it. Some of the work you are doing is at a school in the city of Wiesbaden, down yes. in Germany's southwest. I think we've got some images that we can have mm -hmm. a look at of you down at the school, and if we could get them to... Uh, there you go. Yes, yeah. that's Just the, tell us what's going on there. That's yeah. the Rieschule. It uh, became uh, 100 years old in Wiesbaden. And they're very engaged. Uh, this year I'm the uh, one 
uh, the Schulpatin. Mm -hmm. uh, I will visit and just visit already the children there, talk about tolerance, in, uh, about respect to each other, about the uh, aims and uh, to have, you know, to look forward, being positive and about education, these things. I okay. talk with the, the young people. Are these people. kids at this school, you're a patron now at this school, as you just said, yes. are these kids getting a fair deal in Germany? Um, I think this school is really good, uh, very engaged. I wish I could have had this in my school. Mm -hmm. um, I hope they get the fair deal in Germany. Okay. Let's move on to a different subject. <laughs> <laughs> you are a former beauty queen, yeah? Uh, a very quick answer, please. How important are looks? Um, it's being uh, clean and take care of yourself. If you love yourself, that's important for me. You were saying before we went into that piece that it's very important, or looks are not so very important, but it's good to be sort of neat and tidy and look after yourself and exactly. what have you. Taking care of yourself as a, there's a bit of a There's a bit of a contradiction here, though, because you were a beauty queen and you are a role model. So I lots of the Turkish mm, girls here in Germany are going to go out and think, I want to look like Asla. No, they should, should look like they are and be thankful how they look and uh, are healthy. But mm. I think real beauty comes from the heart and uh, not from the, how we look. And I think we should be happy for every age we live, every day we live. There are so many children dying every day. Okay. And so <laughs> I have it's, this thinking. It's an issue, though. I mean, it might, I have a 14-year-old daughter out here on the streets of Berlin, and, to, and I, do, I know the pressure that she is put under these yes. days. There, there's, a, there's a lot of pressure there. It is, but um, to, I think it's important to give the children the feeling of love and saying that they are perfect like they look. Mm. We, everybody looks different and uh, everybody's beautiful, can be beautiful, but it comes from inside. And being young comes also from inside. What helps you look so perfect as a model, or, uh, but uh, your inside is not so beautiful. Mm. It's also happening a lot. We've talked about integration here in Germany and about you being German-Turkish and what all that means and what your perspectives are on things. Yeah. When, when you travel around the world, as you do an awful lot, when you, know, when, when you meet people what do, and people say to you, where are you from, who are you, what mm -hmm. do you say there? Outside I, Germany. I say I'm from this world and then I say ah, my on, parents are on. Turkish. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I was born in Germany. Uh -huh. Yeah. And when they want to know more, uh, they know me more. Okay. So. <laughs> and when you are out and about travelling in the world, what, when you look across to Germany, what is the thing you miss most about Germany, you find most positive about Germany? Uh, the m most positive, I like this um, clarity and uh, the, the being not late. <laughs> yeah? And you know <laughs> already punctual. what's yeah? going on and... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, it's no, yes, it's yes, mostly. Oh, you know what so, I mean? The, the people are dependable, people are reliable. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly in Europe, like this in Germany, that's what I like. Oh, that's so boring, all this solid, <laughs> stable, steady stuff. Mm. OK, uh, this is probably the right moment to invite you to read the uh, blog I'm going to be writing on Asla. You'll find it alongside my thoughts on many of the other guests we've had here on Talking Germany on the Talking Germany website. If you're into Talking Germany, you can find out more on the internet. Your host, Peter Craven, is keeping a blog on the many shows and guests in the series. Find out more about what happens behind the scenes, gossip, experiences, how the whole show is put together. Just visit blog.dw-world.de slash Talking Germany. And you can tell us what you think about the program there, too. Aslo, we traditionally wind up the show by having a sort of a, a relatively quick fire quiz session at the end. Um, quick questions, quickish answers. Uh, what do you prefer, film or theatre? I cannot. I love both. <laughs> it's very. It's like food and drink. Uh, it's both. Important. Okay, okay. You need both for your yes. uh, yeah. Okay, for your well being. Uh, when you're travel, uh, you're a traveller, and I know you like hotels. So, what do you prefer, home or hotels? Home. Home. But I can also feel home in a hotel. It's Vienna, so. London or Istanbul? Oh, all are Three interesting different. cities that I know you've uh, yeah, well, dipped I, into. I love all. It's really... I need all okay. from time to time. Health, farm or beauty farm? Health. A nice healthy apple or a really good rich bar of chocolate, you chocolate lover? <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Is Germany your home or your past? It's also my home, but the world <laughs> is my home. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's all we've got time for on that note from Asla Bayram. It's been very interesting talking to her. She's been a delightful, dazzling and a little bit daring guest. I uh, hope you've enjoyed her company as much as I have. And if you have, come back next week. Just.